I'd like to show you how to use a measure tool in QGIS, a quick way to get areas or distances. I've loaded a background Google satellite XYZ tile service, which I've described in an earlier video, and zoomed in on a field that I might have interest in. I can activate the measure tool by clicking on the icon, and I get a panel that allows me to specify the units I want to measure. In this case, I'm going to measure in feet. And then I left click at a starting point and click at an ending point. And it gives me the total length and a segment length. So I can do simple distances, straight line distances, and it's showing here the total length and the segment length. But notice as I move along and digitize more, I can get segment lengths as I go along and I can get the total length. So it accumulates this total length as well as giving me segment lengths. When I'm done, I just right click and I have then this each segment length listed and the total length. For the most part, I'll be usually interested in just single line total lengths, but I could measure a sinuous river or something that bends and get both pieces and the total length listed for me. I can then go ahead and close this. Now, if I want to measure the area, say the azure area of this left-hand side of the opening here, I can select in the measurement tool, measure area, and then that opens the measurement tool here. I'll pull it up. And again, I need to specify the units. I'm gonna pick hectares in this case. I get a choice of measuring ellipsoidal or Cartesian. It doesn't make much difference at very zoomed up scales. If I have statewide areas or large regional measurements, I get a slight difference in the areas. I'm going to go with Cartesian that does them in the coordinate system that I'm projected into here. So the same thing with the measure tool. Once I have it activated and set with the primers I want, I start with a left click and I just do a series of clicks. And as I go along, it accumulates the area. When I'm done, a right click then closes my polygon and it's 82.95 acres for this piece. If I start clicking in another location again with the left clicks, it makes the um, first area go away and gives me a second area here. I'll just do a series of clicks around the edge to show, oh, that this works for uneven areas also. So it's 62.7 acres. So there's a very quick way then to get areas measured or distances measured using the measure tool.